We're getting our heart broken by the same man over and over and over again. So we build a wall and we start to grieve that broken relationship every day while we're still in it. While we're still trying to fix it, while we're still trying to make it work. Yo, what is going on guys? It is Taylor the Fiend back again with another response video. And on today's episode, guys, we are going to be responding to this woman right here who says that women have relationships and dating way harder than men, specifically breakups. So without further ado, guys, let's just take a listen to what she has to say and break down what she's saying piece by piece. So let's just jump right into the video. I'm so sick of hearing that women get over relationships quicker than men because nothing could be farther from the truth. Actually, women do get over breakups far quicker than men. This is why you see so many men who get out of relationships and within two weeks, their woman is with some other dude. Okay, because women have so many options these days that they figure that men essentially mean nothing. This is where the entitled attitude comes on, you know, and the throwing men away like they mean nothing. Okay, so that was a fantastic little rant from her on why women have relationships far more difficult than men, specifically breakups. But let's jump in and actually break down what she has to say, guys, because a lot of it is just simply untrue. And this woman lives in absolute fairyland. So let's jump in and take a listen one more time. I'm so sick of hearing that women get over relationships quicker than men because nothing could be farther from the truth. Actually, women do get over relationships a lot quicker than men because they have a stupid amount of options in 2022 dating. A girl can literally be dating a man, break up with him, and then within 20 minutes have a new man arrive at her door. Okay, women have so many options, guys, with Tinder, Bumble, Hinge, Instagram, Snapchat, any sort of social media application, that this is why a lot of girls walk around with this entitlement and men ain't crap attitude is because they receive so much attention and validation online for doing literally nothing that they literally have backup men in these relationships, okay? The idea that men go out and they get over breakups way quicker than women is simply untrue because a lot of men have to work far harder to even get in a relationship than women do. Let's keep going. Women feel all the pain during the relationship and men feel it after. Are you telling me that men don't feel negative emotions in a relationship? You see, this is why men don't talk to you about their feelings. This is why men don't open up to you. This is why men do not show their emotions to people these days, okay? Because this woman just assumed that women feel all of the negative emotions in a relationship. I can tell you something, okay? There are a lot of men who are watching this video who, you know, either are in a very bad situation in their relationship where I'm sure that they feel you know, a great amount of negative emotion, or they've been in relationships where they have felt a significant amount of negative emotion. This idea that women are the only ones who struggle in relationships, it's just incredibly stupid to me, okay? Especially considering dudes who are in marriages or long-term relationships are oftentimes locked into these things by the court of law, but that's a whole nother discussion in and of, in and of itself. Let's keep going. See, we sit there, we cry, we scream, we plead, we beg, we tell you exactly what you need to change in order for that relationship to survive and what about you okay if you're in a relationship with a guy if you're in a relationship with men and all you find yourself doing is crying and telling men how to fix that relationship maybe you should choose a different man like this is something that these girls never seem to consider guys is it always has to be the man's fault right women are always crying in relationships and relationships are so hard for women maybe you should select men who will actually commit to you i'm so sick of this argument like oh uh, you know the guy that i'm in a relationship with he's mean and he doesn't give me what i want okay go date a dude who will give you what you want it's not rocket science Okay, and what she's saying is a little bit true here, guys. A lot of girls will be in a relationship with a guy and she'll be crying, you know, twice a month or whatever the case may be over something that he's done or hasn't done, right? But the thing is, she could choose a guy who's not 
you know, going to upset her. When truth be told, let's be honest, guys, a lot of these girls are just straight up upsetting themselves. But the point still stands. You could choose a dude who didn't quote unquote make you cry. You can go to that nice guy. You can have your family. You can have your white picket fence. A lot of guys can't even have a relationship to begin with, or they're just so sick and tired of dating that the juice isn't worth the squeeze for them anymore. And after so long of not being heard and having our feelings ignored, we eventually go numb because we have no other choice. We're getting our heart broken by the same man over and over and over again. So Maybe you should, I don't know, leave the relationship and choose a different man. Like, where is the accountability here, by the way, guys? And I'll roast dudes for the exact same thing, okay? If you're in a man, you know, if you're a man and you're in a bad relationship and the relationship sucks for you and the woman's mistreating you, I'm going to call you a dumbass if you don't leave the relationship. Right? I would say the same thing to a woman, okay? It is silly to stay in a relationship with someone who just, you know, makes your life feel like hell. I don't care what gender you are. You shouldn't be in a relationship where all you're doing is suffering, okay? You should leave the relationship. I don't understand why for these people, guys, it just doesn't seem to be common sense. Like, you're staying with someone who makes you suffer in your own words. Okay, why should I feel empathy for you? Leave the relationship then. So we build a wall. And we start to grieve that broken relationship every day while we're still in it. Again, if it's a broken relationship, why are you in it? Well, we're still trying to fix it. Well, we're still trying to make it work. So by the time we finally find the strength to walk away, we've already felt all the heartbreak. We've already cried all the tears. And you've found another guy who you're going to replace your original man with. Okay, when she says, oh, I find the strength to walk away, what that really means is that another viable option has come along, or the dude has like messed up and displayed some sort of, you know, severe emotional vulnerability, or she's gotten bored. It basically means one of these things typically, guys. But usually it's a better option has come along, and that's why the girl moves on so quickly, is because a lot of the times they have a man there beforehand. Like, guys, men go through this situation. It is uncommon for a man not to go through this, okay? If you're a dude dating, chances are, and you know, you've had girlfriends in the past, chances are you've seen many of those girlfriends move on within two weeks onto some other dude. And the reason for that is because they have another man lined up. This is how many options that women have, guys. They have such a stupid amount of options. So of course they move on from breakups quicker. There's like five guys ready to go. It's ridiculous. We've already grieved what is lost. And so no, we don't get over relationships quicker. We stay until there is absolutely nothing left. Yeah, so what you do, right, is you mentally break up with the guy months before the relationship even ends, and you're just waiting for a new guy to come along and to go get with him. I've said this before, guys, but women know when the relationship is over. The, the guy, when breakups happen, the guy is often blindsided by it because the woman has broken up with the dude. The breakup happened like months and months ago and she's just been on the lookout for a new guy, you know, when she decided to mentally break up with you earlier in the relationship. And I wish it wasn't that, that way, guys, but this is why a lot of girls, what they'll do is they'll mentally break up with a guy and then they'll spend the next few months lining up a replacement and then before you know it, she'll be like with that other guy within two weeks. It's literally like clockwork, guys. This is how a lot of modern day relationships work because what they do is they have these dudes that they're going to go to ahead of time in their Instagram DMs, uh, in their Snapchat. Like, Snapchat is probably a way worse one, guys. And women who use Snapchat specifically, guys, do not deal with women who use Snapchat, okay? Because if you don't know, if you're an older gentleman, maybe you don't have Snapchat or you don't know how it works. Snapchat is an application. It's a messaging and picture application where the messages get deleted after you open them. So just, just don't do it, guys. Don't ever curse yourself by looking at a woman's Snapchat. It's honestly the most disgusting thing you'll ever see. But guys, let's jump into today's Reddit story. And I have a bit of a funny one for you here today from memory. So let's see uh, what we have here today. Okay, so today's Reddit story is titled, and this is written by an individual named Pottery Egg six hours ago. 
Uh, it is titled, My Fiancé Doesn't Want to Get Married, But Does Want Us to Stay Together. So here we have a woman, guys, who is frustrated because her man does not want to get married. And she is 30 years of age, so she's coming into the period now uh, where she's sick and tired of the bad boys. She's sick and tired of the relationships that never quite worked out. And she's ready to have a real one now that she is 30 years of age, okay? So let's jump into this story here. It goes, my fiance doesn't want to get married, but does want us to stay together. I, a 30 year old female, have been engaged to my partner who is 35 years of age for two and a half years and together for five in total. We have been living together for four years. So these two were living together uh, within one year and then they were engaged, you know, engaged in a, I wouldn't say a quick period, but they got engaged. Notice how this happens, right? at the 30 years of age mark guys not when she's 22 not when she's 24 not when she's 27 when we come to that big 3-0 we start looking for the uh, the guy to settle down with now that we've had the fun when we started trying to plan wedding after the wedding after our engagement in 2020 he began to try to slow things down he pointed to his student debt as one reason not to rush he suggested that we wait until post pandemic before booking anything all sensible ideas that i agreed with at the time so i waited but since then the goalposts have kept moving First, it was let's do something in 2021, then 2022. I had bridesmaids in mind. There were venue quotes. I had a wedding dress. He knew all of this. And then he revealed that he didn't want to get married at all. So let me just say this, by the way, guys. It sounds like this guy reluctantly decided to get engaged with this woman. First of all, he's a clown for doing that for even getting engaged with the woman if he didn't want to do it. But I find it incredibly funny, guys, that the woman is getting all stressed because she's not necessarily going to get her ring at the end of the Chad Rainbow. But, like, that is just something that is immensely... Excuse me, my phone there, guys. Immensely hilarious to me when these girls, they can't obtain the ring at the end or they realize that the dude is not interested in marrying them. And we'll get on to the, uh, the other dudes that she's been seeing momentarily. So... He wanted to be with me forever. He was deeply committed to me. He just had an issue with marriage. And although we talked about marriage several times before getting engaged, always instigated by him, he didn't realize how negatively he'd feel about it in reality. He doesn't like the institution. I wonder why that could be. I wonder why men don't like the marriage institutions. Very weird stuff. Uh, the pomp and the ceremony, being the center of attention, etc. Even an elopement wouldn't be okay with him. We got engaged because he didn't want us to break up. So this guy's a clown for getting engaged, but clearly she was pushing. I really do think that this woman was pushing for the engagement. As you can see, she's quite frustrated that things are moving a lot slower than she anticipated here. But, you know, she, she just waits till a big 3-0 and then cries when crap like this happens, right? This is why as a woman, if you're going to, you know, look for your husband, do it early. And don't be surprised when men don't want to marry you anymore because marriage does not benefit men anyway. Let's keep going. For me, marriage is important. It is a core value to me. And having had lots of meaningless boyfriends, I wanted to make a commitment to someone in a way I never had before. But I love him and I wanted to find a compromise. So let's pause it right here, guys. And let's talk about this for a second, okay? For the woman, marriage is important to her. And she had lots of previous meaningless boyfriends. This is something that just amazes me about modern day society, guys, is the fact that men are expected to come along and to commit to women who have had tons of meaningless boyfriends. Why on earth would a man do this, especially when the institution of marriage is not hospitable to men at all? You are on the line to lose all of your possessions. You are on the line to lose any kids that you guys may have together. But for the woman, marriage is important to her. Yeah, no kidding, it's important to you because it's financial stability. For the man, a marriage is nothing but a risk. And th this part right here, guys, really disgusts me. She just slips this in. Having had lots of meaningless boyfriends. Jeez, man. Yeah, imagine that, guys. Like, imagine back in the day, okay, 1950s type stuff, if a woman said some garbage like this. Oh, yeah, I just had a lot of... I had a lot of uh, previous bad boyfriends, um, you know, meaningless boyfriends, excuse me, but now I'm ready for some real commitment from a real man. Get out of here, bro. Ah, compromise. Every time I've tried to broach the subject since, I've been shut down. I wait patiently for a few months, ask him how he's feeling and what he thinks about what we do, and he never has an answer, and now we end up fighting. So wait a minute. So he said that he didn't want to get married. 
and now you're continuing to push him to get married. <laughs> yeah, amazing stuff. Fantastic stuff. It's come to a bit of a boiling point because we went on holiday and did a couple's photo shoot. The photos were gorgeous and I thought it was a really fun experience. Wow, I love how this one's like, I thought it was a really fun experience. Here's what I needed for me. Uh, here's why marriage is important to me. And it's never like considering what the other guy wants. Like never at all. But afterwards, he said that he hated it. He disliked the photos, was, a, would af was afraid that I would show them to people and that they would think that we were married. So I wasn't allowed to show them to anyone. It was a bit... Uh, mad but in summaration he crapped all over the experience and ruined it for me it wasn't so much about the photos but the fact that he actively unnecessarily spoiled something so small that he knew i enjoyed now i can't look at the photos so this woman took this dude and basically they went and got photos together and let me be honest with you guys here i see a situation in which these were clearly like she knew what she was doing she went to take these photos together because she wanted them to look like you know, marriage photos, let's be honest. Like, if the guy seems to think that it looks as though they were married, they were probably done by, like, a wedding photographer, or at least in, like, a wedding-esque style, so she knew exactly what she was doing here. I am worried that he has no intention of compromising. I feel that... What, what kind of compromise is there? Oh, yeah, we're gonna get half married. Like, you're worried that he won't get married to you. That's what you're worried about. You're not worried about the compromise. You're worried that you won't receive your ring at the end of it. And this is what a lot of women come to, guys, is the realization that a lot of guys are not interested in marrying them because it is a stupid decision for men to do. I feel that I am making a fundamental compromise by agreeing to take marriage off the table. I am open to lots of alternatives, but he isn't willing to con concretely explore anything. I've asked if we can go to couples counseling and he said no. So if the guy doesn't want to get married to you, apparently you have to go to counseling because there's something defective. Maybe the guy is just saying no. I know that's crazy. I have been in this limbo for nearly three years. I don't think I can take it much longer as the resentment and sadness continues to build. What do I do? Too long didn't read. My fiance doesn't want to get married, but wants us to stay together. He agreed to find a compromise slash alternative, but this hasn't come to anything. So let's see what some of these people uh, have to say on the subreddit here. Uh, blah, blah, blah. What kind of compromise is he talking about? Maybe a crazy thought, but if what if he's already secretly married and afraid? What are these people talking about? This individual here says, he isn't going to get married to you and will actively reject anything that may suggest you are married. If that isn't enough for you, then it's time to leave. But she still wants her compromise. Uh, in other words, she still wants to get married. Taking marriage off the table wouldn't be a compromise for you. It'd be him getting what he wants, and I guarantee you'd end up resenting him. The point of a compromise is that both parties walk away happy. Doesn't sound like you'd be happy not being married, so it's a deal breaker. At this point, it just sounds like he's giving you whatever excuses pop into his head. He just doesn't want to get married. Whether or not uh, the reasons he are giving you are true, I doubt it. He doesn't want counseling. He doesn't want to compromise. He's set in his ways. If I were you, I'd be preparing myself to move on from the relationship so if a man doesn't get married to a woman it's time to move on guys hey if you can't get him into counseling uh, if you can't get him to compromise in other words get married then hey go out there and find another man fantastic advice right there guys because honestly not a lot of men are interested in getting married uh married excuse me and actually a lot of men are not so interested in relationships these days either but guys, we are going to be leaving today's episode there. As always, remember to leave your thoughts and your comments. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our other content creators, Hadan from Peace of Mind and Detective Warg. And as always, guys, make sure that you take care of yourselves and I'll be seeing you all in the next episode. Peace. Yo guys, it's Taylor here. Just want to say thank you if you made it to the end of today's episode. Before you go, remember to subscribe to our other Fiend Gang members. Their channels will be linked in the video description. Our newest member is Detective Warg, so make sure that you go and show him some love. He's putting out daily content for you guys. Also, one of the characters I use and also a lot of our thumbnail artwork is done by an artist called The Gecko Ninja. He's absolutely fantastic and his socials are going to be linked in the video description as well if you want to commission him for some amazing art. Otherwise, take it easy, gents, and I will see you all in the next episode. Peace.